Good evening. Welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. Today we're going to discuss how to find your life purpose. How to find your life purpose. As normal, like, share, leave a comment on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if there's something you'd like me to talk about, feel free to tell me. So after you bought your first house, your second house, after you've had your first spouse, your second spouse, your third spouse, your fourth spouse, your fifth spouse, what comes next? What comes next? Now, up to 80% of people are unhappy with their lives. The other 20% of people are happy with their lives. They seem to know about their life purpose. I know money does play a part in this, but let's face it, seriously wealthy people are unhappy i.e. even actors and doctors, and particularly comedians. They say that comedians are some of the most unhappiest people in the world, but successful ones are rich, aren't they? So what makes a difference? Um, I think there are five things that make a difference. Who you are, what you do, who you do it for, what those people want and need, and what they get out of it, and how they have changed as a result. This is not hard. In fact, it is really simple. I hope to give you food for thought on what your life purpose is. I hope you will find it during watching this video or soon after. I guess you've been thinking about this kind of question for a long time. I know I used to think about it in my childhood and through my teens and into my early adulthood and probably into my mid, mid, mid life or into my forties, I probably began to find the answer. Amazon, Amazon alone has 151,928 different books on the, the investigation of people's life's purpose. So if you've got two or three lifetimes, you'll be able to get through them and you'll be able to come up with your life's purpose. That's if you can take into consideration reincarnation. Now remember, the unexamined life is not a life worth living. But if we're, all we're doing is examining our life, then we're not living. There are some that actually just do that. Don't let it be you. So let's figure out our life purpose right now. Who are you? What do you do? Who do you do it for? What are those people's wants? and needs, and how do their, change, their lives change as a result? And the first of these is your name. This is who you are. Now, what do you do? What do you love to do? If there are a lot of things that come up for you, focus it down by asking this one question. What is the thing right now you feel supremely qualified to teach other people. Now think about it for a minute or two. What do you do? Who do you do it for? What do they want and need? How do they change as a result? We can run around inside of our heads and never truly find our life purpose. What I've just said, only two of these five questions refer to us. The other three refer to other people. It's all about other people, their needs, their wants, and how they change as a result. This kind of thinking forces us to think outwardly rather than inwardly. Imagine you could solve world war, hunger, poverty, cancer, things like this. How good would you feel? And your ancestors would never forget your name. But on a smaller scale, being able to help people with their financial problems, their emotional problems, their physical problems. This could be friends, family, or even strangers. Now, when we help others in these ways, we feel good. There's a word for it, it's called altruism. Look it up in the dictionary or on Wikipedia. Happier people make it a point to make other people happy. They do things for
for the well good of others, for their care and their security. So the product of all of this is that other people are happy. Life teaches us that if we take care of others and make other people happy, we will be taken care of too. Now, in my life, I have had quite a few different jobs, I've had quite a few different businesses, and eventually I discovered counselling. I'm a counsellor. And I cannot explain to you how when I have a one-to-one -one with a client and they come in drooping, uh, they're struggling to get out of bed, they're seriously depressed in their relationship, in their job, or in just generally in life, because if you're depressed in one particular area, it does tend to cloud all the others. Yeah. But after, you know, whatever, how many sessions we've had, and I see them pushing out their chest and they're walking upright, smiling, cracking jokes, the way I feel is absolutely priceless. I, 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 I can't actually put words on how good it makes me feel. And it's not because like, I'm putting my, patting myself on the back saying, oh, what a fantastic counsellor I am or what a great job I did. It's just wonderful to see somebody who's stooped and then they're standing upright and walking out with confidence and taking on life with confidence because, you know, confidence alone can just define who you are and what kind of life you live. Um, so anyway, that's just a little bit about me and my side of my finding my life purpose. Um, so to recap, who you are, what you do, who you do it for, what those people want and need, what they got out of it, and how they've changed as a result. Now, if you're spreading good vibes, which is basically what it is, you're doing things that make you happy and uplift you, others, they will uplift you. There's a bounce back effect. So if you know anybody who find this video useful, share it with them. If you have any comments to leave, leave them. I'd appreciate to have some feedback from people, which I do get. And the inspiration of this was that I was on a course over the last few days and they were saying that if you can find 50 reasons why you do what you do, you're doing what you do on, <laughs> on caffeine, on, 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 on a bionic level, on a serious level. And uh, I was talking to a chap and he was saying to me, he's not quite sure what he wants to do with his life, what his purpose is. So I thought, okay, let me make this video. And there's going to be a lot of other people that don't have their life purpose as of yet and they've not actually thought of how to get it. So here's the tips that I've given you. Have a look at them, work with them, and see what you can do. And I'd love to hear people give me some feedback and tell me that, hey, they're beginning to find their life purpose or they've found their life purpose. So as normal, like, leave comments, and stay positive. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.